Federal Courts in Abuja has ordered the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to unfreeze the accounts of 20 individuals linked to the ESA's protests. The judge, Ahmed Mohamed, issued the order on freezing the accounts on Wednesday after the legal teams of both the CBN and defendants decided to end the case. The CBN had, in October 2020, asked banks to freeze accounts of 20 ENSAS protesters. Some of the affected individuals include Bola Tito, Rachel Udwala, Chima David Ibe Bunjo, Mary Dose Mengwa, Gatefield Nigeria Limited, Sadat Semitokwe Bibi, Basi Victory Israel, Wisdom Busa Busashowo Obi, Nicholas Ikala Osazele, Ebere Idibie, Akintomibi Lanri Yusuf, Uho Ezewanyi Promise, Mushokwe Fuluwa Odeshi and Aduk Guki. Bamilere Emmanuel. Others are Umor Grace Ekanem, Babasunde Victor Shegun, Mulu Luis Teganan, Mary Oshifura, Winifred Akbewo Gene, Jacob, Victor Solomon and Idino A. Williams. Their lawyer Femi, Fane, Femi Falano SCN explained that he vehemently opposed the Nigeria government's lawyer, former attorney general of the Federation, Michael. Ahondwaka, who told the court they were still in reconciliation and that the order had expired since last week. The judge A.R. Mohamed therefore dismissed the case altogether. The ENSAS protest, which aired for 13 days in various parts of the country, called for the disbanding of special and robbery court units of the police and urged the government to carry out general police reforms. Donations were received in various currencies, including naira and dollars, using flutter wave to provide food, medical care, and legal aid to protesters. However, the donation link was disabled. The donation was consequently subsequently moved to Bitcoin. So, as we speak now, the accounts of these 20 ENSAS protesters have been released. Have been frozen according to what the federal government, the court has ordered the CBN to do. The question we are always asking is that you see a lot of people, when you talk about a real security threat, real terrorism happening in the north, you see people coming out in their undress, coming out to say, Oh, they've surrendered and they surrender all their guns. The question we ask is that how do they get this phone? The full and men that are carrying AK-47, how do they buy it? How do they get it? Oh, CBN will not know that. You see the way they are just embarrassing themselves. People who are asking you to do the right thing so that we will have a better place because you have failed in your responsibilities. Now, people are coming out to tell you these are the things you ought to have done. In case you have forgotten, we are reminding you to do the needful. And now they have become a threat to the nation. They have become threat to the nation. And these people, they think, uh, oh, it is order from above because some people will tell you that, uh, oh, ordinarily, uh, Mefele, who, is, who happens to be the governor of Central Bank, wouldn't have done that in the first place, but because of order from above. And these people allow them to use them. You, can, no, you can't say that he rushed to the, to the court to go and do that, if not that he was being told to do that, because if really he has that uh, audacity to do that, He's really patriotic and he's doing, he wants to do his job or he's trying to do his job diligently. He ought to have known those who are sponsoring and those who are buying these guns for all these S-men that even move around. When have you ever seen that uh, they arrested these people, the so-called S-men? The one that they said they intercepted in Ibadan yesterday before police came and they released them. They said, just let them go. We didn't find anything incriminating on them let them go and now they are they are slide inside the all the two states lagos and Ogun state so 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 hmm. nigeria our country nigeria our country nigeria go better we have people who are who are who are, who are still dealing with their with so called leaders who are dealing with their people we don't have people from outside who, outside the country but the people inside the country they are the ones doing this to to themselves 
we must ensure the prosecution of all those who have been arrested for kidnapping banditry there must be evidence that justice is being done this is achievable by stronger collaboration between the police state ministries of justice and federal ministry of justice mm -hmm. and so the that would work pretty if the executive system depend on judiciary to function but sadly the corrupt judiciary is gagged by the executive that is justice it may take time but shall surely be saved thanks to our judiciary in this hard time at last the court did well but i hope the cbn will not go and appeal the judgments this government this government president Muhammad Bari, does not obey court order so shameful I'm happy that the judiciary remains the last hope of a common man in Nigeria. That settles it. Court should also order CBN to lift ban on uh, cryptocurrency. Buhari government is evil and wicked. Since then till now, even Sunday of Oyo State account also has been frozen. Now they are replacing BVN with NIN. Who knows the next they want to do? The CBN governor is a boy. To federal government federal government led by buhari do not respect court order using buhari as the subject of the formula cbn will not obey this court order period we are moving on saturday again who ordered lucky shooting on tuesday 20th october 2020 because they had about another protest on sunday mad people everywhere this government doesn't obey court orders let's wait and see we will now see if they will obey court order. The lawlessness in this country is appealing, appalling, rah. So they can go back and continue with fraud. Your plans will not work. That's what someone is saying. Oh, Baba Ghana, Uma. You say the court is telling them to um, freeze their account so that they can go back to their crime. <laughs> well, um, no, so that they, so that we will come and give you brain. Okay, uh, sounds okay. I like your reply for him. Uh, he pay you back, and so mm, all these uh, terrorist people moving around on social media because you know that they are evil minded. Hmm. Someone says, Yes, sense is really far from this particular person. Let's see, we'll move on. Why can't they find out the accounts of those funding Boko Haram terrorism in Nigeria and do the same to them for past 10 years? They've not been able to do that. They don't even think about that at all. Judiciary, the last hope of common man, but will they obey? Will they obey court order? Obviously, they don't want another protest. Buari has ears, but he can't hear. I pray he listens this time around, because another protest is gradually gathering momentum. The fear of Saturday has caught federal governments. This crypto ban and freezing of a. a Ihau's accounts will lead to Biafra and Uludua being seen as a sovereign country. Just watch as the drama will play. Of what good is the man in the central bank, in the central, other than doing the bidding of the master and playing the spoiler as his master at the center direct? In the same vein, court should order CBN to unban crypto in nigeria as soon as possible they freeze people that protested for better nigeria and compensate hey compensate terrorists with money and cows for killing their people hmm hmm you can see hey that's another thing if do you know that these people were there's, there's, there's something else during the protest during those period that the people were protest, protesting the, 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 the president could not say anything. They could not even say, oh, let us dialogue with them. Let us even give them amnesty. Because anything they give them amnesty, give amnesty, they will be talking about amnesty. Those who are were, who were agitating for good governance. But the ones that have really done, you know, you have seen, this is what they have done. The government is begging them. In this kind of country, this regime has turned everything upside down. Cryptocurrencies is next. Some lawyers should start the suing because judgments can be appealed hmm, we won't this is just the beginning that is if if this shameless and tribalistic government knows anything like 
Obeying God's order, that is when it will work. If not, forget it.